Today I'm going to do a short tutorial painting this orange pepper. This is going to give us an opportunity to focus on just a few aspects of our pastel painting. We can think about the form in light. We can think a little bit about the drawing and the color and maybe a little bit about mark making. We don't have to worry too much at all about composition. So we're going to spend just a short amount of time doing this and we're going to just dive right into it. Okay, we're going to tackle this pepper. It's kind of an interesting shape because it's kind of a combination of a cube and a sphere. So we're going to think about that a little bit. We're going to really focus on the mark making and the color. That's it's so such a beautiful, yummy color. So, um, we're going to keep it, you know, pretty simple here. And, uh, I want to think about a little bit that here's the here's the top of my if I'm going to think about it as a cube a little bit, I'm just kind of go ahead and do a little little number like that just to, to say something about here's my little stem coming from the top. It's down in here. So just just a little idea of on the drawing side just to just for fun, really. Um, some really interesting shapes to, to play with. But I'm not going to get all carried away about that either. The idea is just to really just get in here and play with the marks and the color. So there, that's that's about all we need, right? Something like that. And then I've got a little cast shadow. The cast shadow is pretty, and it comes out like so. Something like that. Again, I'm not going to get too too worried about it. And we'll get a little background in there, a little vignette of a background. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is pick the, the kind of mid-value for the, the main um, part of the pepper here. I'm not going to um, go too dark or too light. I'm going to stay, stay right in the middle. And I'm just going to mop that in much the my whole pepper shape okay so I'm just gonna come in and just real real simple real easy does it just get it in but I'm using a really light pressure at this point so that I have lots of tooth of paper to get uh, other strokes over the top so that that works just really kind of nice now I'm going to do the same thing for my stem. I'm going to pick something that I feel like is that mid value, not too dark and not too light for that stem. Let's get it right in. That's fun. Okay, so now what about that? I think, you know, I'm going to go ahead and pick something for the background. And I, I, I don't want it to be too dark. I want it to be... Um, pretty light because I need something a little bit darker for my cast shadow so if I go too dark right off the bat I'm not going to have anything left for the cast shadows so I'll start out something like this I think that'll work out pretty well just get that in there and I can restate this is cool about pastel I can restate the contour of my pepper with the background shape, which is neat. It's a fun way to work, so I'm kind of working the negative shape. I love that about pastel. Something like that. That's all I need to start out with. Now I want to think about a little bit about the shadow side of my of my pepper, so I need something a little bit darker, but I still want I still want it to have a, a, a lot of chroma. I'm thinking something about like this. This has kind of got a lot of red in it, but I think it's going to work out. What is the shape of that form shadow? And it's got here's a cast shadow from the stem, 
think about that a little bit. There's a little form shadow here. And I want to go ahead and in this shape mix in a little bit more orange because I really see that in there. I want it to have that, that nice chroma. Okay, so now that's pretty good. Now, what about something a little bit darker even? Down in here. So I can really, here's a little bit of a core. A little bit of dark down in here. that works out pretty well. Okay. Oh, before I get too far, I want to go ahead and get my cast shadow value in here. So I'm going to pick something just about like this. Again, this is something kind of in the middle. It's not too dark. I don't want to go too dark because I want my cast shadow to be luminous and have lots of nice um, air and, and feel to have the atmosphere and light is the reflected light can spill into my cast shadow. So I don't want to go too dark. I've got a little shape right there. Okay, so now I need something on the underside of my stem. So I want to go a little bit darker on the form shadow here. That's nice, already getting that kind of quality of light. All right, now I'm kind of getting myself really nicely set up so I can really start to have some fun with this guy. Uh, I want something in the, on the light side now of my pepper, something. That's good. Now I'm not going to worry about my contour. I can paint outside the lines. <laughs> Something I think even as, as adult painters we forget that we can do. Get really into these little habits that are kind of funny. Okay, that's looking good. Now I want something a little bit darker on the underside of my cast shadow to really set my pepper right down on the, on the surface of the table here. And what that's going to do also is it's going to lighten this up and let it have a little bit more um, air to it. So that works out nice. Okay, so what's next? Hmm, what do I want to do that's kind of fun? I'll just start to do that. So I think I'm going to play with the background a little bit. I'm going to get a little bit more color into the background. So I'm going to grab this purple so that I get a nice playful mix of hues in, the, in my background. You know, what, what, what if? I like to do that and uh, think to myself, what if I bring some other color in. And play with the edges a little bit. Right. Now, um, hmm, maybe I want to really mix it up. I'm going to bring this aqua right over the top of all of this. Play with this edge. Just be a, a lot more bold and playful with the whole thing. That's cool. Now I want a little bit more light in my pepper. So this is a sort of a creamy, um, peachy color. I don't want to go too overboard with this because it is it is kind of, it's not as saturated. It's got some white in it. I 
Um, one thing I, I definitely see in this guy is some green. It's kind of reflecting into it. So some of these planes have some green. I'm not going to be afraid to get that in there. You know, it's a little too much, so I'm going to come back in with my orange. It's one of the great things about pastel is you can go back and forth, back and forth. It's a really great media that way. Okay. Yeah, I lost some of the luminosity with that, that peachy color, so I want to go back and grab some of that intensity. Maybe I'm going to need to go over it with some yellow to get it. Yeah, that's going to get it. It's kind of a glaze now of some yellow. I can play with these edges again. Now, so now I'm going over, this is a little bit harder pastel, over the top of the edges of something a little bit softer which it's doing some nice things actually. It's, it's blending in a particular way. Now I'm thinking about some little bit more intensity in the, in the darks. How about some magenta down in here? That's pretty fun. And in the core. I'm down in here in this area. And that plays with that kind of green that I set in there, so I think that works out really nice. Now I, I want to play with that stem. That stem is not, I want to adjust the hue on that. It's not really what I want, what I have in mind. I'm going to keep it painterly, so. Okay. So now I, I'm, I'm thinking right now about some highlights. Um, I want to get a couple in before I get too far. Nice highlights in here. And I'm going to use some, it's not white, it's almost white. I don't want to overdo these. I want them. Soften the edges of them. That's pretty good. I'm still wanting to play with the um, the background just a little bit. I'm thinking it's 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 a it's a little somber for me. So I'm going to actually come over with some pink. I'm going to let some of that aqua that I got in there um, show through the edges just a little bit. Now you could say, well, we're, you know, why do we care about the background? Well, the, the, this, this pepper doesn't exist unless it's sitting somewhere. So we have to pay attention to the background a little bit. So now I have an opportunity to really play with the edges and let some of that blue uh, aqua um, poke around the edge and really give it some pop. It's really quite nice. It really um, makes the, the pepper itself kind of sing a little bit more. And I wanna um, just give a, a little bit more form to this guy. So I'm thinking about this aqua. A little bit of dark. A little bit of dark right here. Just a couple little areas. And down in here. Really nice and 
soft. It really pops out that um, reflected light that I've, I've got going right here. Really play that up. So that's nice. And I want to play it up a little bit more on this edge here too. That's fun. Oops, kind of like this highlight right there. So get that. And that little errant mark there. And I think a little bit darker down in here. So we really get that um, stem turning. And the stem also is catching some of this orange. See that? It's some of that orange is reflecting into the green of that stem. So definitely want to catch that. That's we want to like say that the color is bouncing all around and um, catching the different surfaces of our object. All right. So how about stick of Senerlier, which is this beautiful yellow orange and i'm gonna use the opportunity here with this piece to use this stick i think i might have to redo that highlight that's okay we'll come back to that Yeah, I could just be playing, playing, playing with this. And I don't, you know, I don't want, want to fuss with it too much. I don't need to. I've got, um, I think, enough of the character of, of what I was after. You know, I really want to say the most with the least in my pieces. So, um, have I said enough about this? <laughs> have I said enough about this pepper? I feel like I'm getting there. One little something different about this shape right here. I think that's good. I think I'm just about there. Oh, I do want to bring a little bit more color into my cast shadow because I think a, a little bit of. Um, red or orange would be bouncing into this cast shadow, definitely. So I really want to um, say something about that too. Keep going and just mess it up. So you gotta definitely get to a point and call it good. Okay, I think I'm there and I um, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and, you know, try this um, orange pepper and, and red peppers and everything else. So um, enjoy. Oh, I want to do one more thing. <laughs> there we go. Just figure out that little, gross little contour here. Okay, great. All right. All right. Have fun, you guys. Hi there thanks for watching if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe it helps us out and click the bell icon to get notifications we have lots more coming for you